welcome. This is a tutorial on, on uh, signing skin modifiers to a typical character uh, using the biped rig. Uh, in front of you, you see a, sky, uh, uh, a rig, a beast rig. As you can see uh, from the beast rig, I just hide a selection, a typical biped. Uh, in this case, the shoulders are a lot wider than a typical standard biped, and pelvis is wider, and the legs are shorter, and the arms are a little longer. So what I want to demonstrate is um, um, basically skinning um, major parts of the body, the arms, the legs, the spine, and the head area. Um, the problem areas associated with that. So let's start with the, uh, uh, the arms first and we'll go in the skin modifier. And we'll look at the left upper arm. So you'll see in the, on the right. Uh, when we're working with uh, um, the uh, skin modifier, it's, it's best to take your character from invisible, which is Alt X, to visible. And you can see your, uh, your natural skin affected areas from the bone. Um, my favorite procedure, there's a lot of ways to do this, but to go into vertice mode and select the vertices basically on an arm with uh, um, by windowing the areas you want affected and they'll highlight in vertice mode and to uh, set them absolutely to 100%. I would do that same procedure to the lower forearm and I would highlight the ones again that what I would know that would affect the lower arm. Uh, in this case the hand is selected which is not good. So again you would say 100%. Then to make things easier, select the areas around the elbow um, and assign them about 50%. It should turn a yellowish, orangish, and around the wrist area in this case too would be good to make uh, about um, 40%. Then the hand itself, the entire hand, of course, would be 100%. And that's the easiest way to, uh, to rig up an arm. Um, and to set up so that the geometry um, that the biped's influencing would be affected right. So we're going to select the hand here, hand bone, uh, get it here, and you can see how nice the geometry is breaking at the elbow. Um, so uh, that's a simple arm rig. The next step is to look at what's called the, the legs, um, which is in the lower area here. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go into the leg area and grab the biped and make sure it's off figure mode and grab the skin again from the character sure it's all. This time I'm going to use the leg as an example. So I'm going to grab the lower leg, lower left leg. It's called lower calf. Um, again I'm going to go into uh, edit envelopes, vertex. Again I'm going to window the lower leg influences and from this one you can see it's all over the map so we're going to make them all 100%. Again at this point I'm going to make the knee about 50% and then the foot so notice some of the toes aren't selected at 100% and then going to do the left thigh around here at 100% and the pelvis is a very important area you might want to take this uh, this opportunity and make that around 50%. So that one's doing. We're going to do a test. We're going to go into bone mode. Grab the foot, and you can see you get a nice, nice bend. So that's basics of rigging uh, a leg. And uh, um, now we're ready to do the spine. So in this case, with this monster. Um, going to grab the spine bones and see how it behaves. Okay, and just grab another one. It's actually not too bad. And we're going to actually go into the spine of the character. The 
is 4 in this case. Again, we go into edit, edit envelopes, and we're going to check it out. And you can hit the uh, cursor keys if you want to scroll through to do a check. Actually, they're pretty good in this case. Spine 1 might have a little bit of editing required here. Actually, I'm going to go into rectangular mode because it's pretty orthographic. And then make sure that's 100%. Okay, and then go into spine. Looks good. Let's go two. Doesn't look good. Looks like it's got part of it. We got to be careful in this case because of the uh, of the uh, influence of the head. So I'm just gonna grab his bones right here. Make those 100 percent. And then the top of the spine. This one's really tough. Um, I'm going to do it from the side. Put the bones from the side. And uh, make those absolutely 100%. <clears throat> now, the neck, so that should be clear up. Let's do a test for this one. And I always do a rotation test this way, and then a rotation test this way. So again, we still have problems with the shoulders for sure. The spine looks pretty good. <coughs> so with the shoulders, um, one of the final parts is to look at what's called the neck. The neck, uh, in this case, because of the type of beast we're dealing with. So we take the, the neck bones. Yes, they've got to be weighted too. And, uh, and I notice the neck bones have nothing because the necks are so wide. So in this case, we're going to get um, neck, which is closest to the character. We're going to use this. We're going to window this whole area. And we're going to make sure we remove the face, of course, area, and the chest. So that would be pretty good right there take that off so that would be the neck area influences and we'll make that 100 <clears throat> percent we'll go to the neck two neck one rather do the same thing uh, this time I'm going to use the uh, this here and grab that neck area make that 100 percent finally neck two we'll leave that one alone because it's well into the head make sure the head is influenced properly. In this case, we'll bring in our envelopes and make sure that the head is fully influenced 100% by the neck, right by the head bone, rather. Just add this. So that should do it. We should now have a pretty good head movements yep and go to the bone mode oh, get the right bone here thank you for uh, viewing this just got some shoulders to edit but pretty much the influence of this is all done there we go there's a head oh that's an arm Thank you very much.